Hey. Hi. I am so excited for this. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Thank you for letting me speak and you're interested of hearing my side. A little bit about my TikTok. We love Jersey Shore, of course, but we also really love the behind the scenes stuff. Like we love things that aren't shown. We always try to find things that, you know, they don't air. And of course, everyone has two different sides to everything. So we're just so excited to hear from you and hear your side of the story because they definitely cut out a lot. You can just tell by editing. Everything is so choppy. So we're really excited to hear your side. Thank you. You can ask me questions and I'll answer. Perfect. Um, how did you meet Polly? So first, the episode that we saw when you were introduced, it was at a club. Was that how you guys first met? No. The first time we met was at my house, actually. Your uh, house? They were walk- yeah, they were walk- They We lived next to each other. Our houses were really, really, really close to each other. And uh, him and Ronnie were walking, I guess, to a club or I don't know where. And uh, Ronnie needed to pee. So he asked if he could go into our house. I was sitting out with my roommates. And then the next day, Polly came to my store and invited me out to uh, some bar that he DJed at. That's the first time we actually really met. That's insane. One, we didn't even know that you guys lived next door to each other. That's yeah. insane. Our houses were like literally next to each other. Wow. I didn't know any of that. Did anyone else know that? Because I did not know that. That's insane. So you, you guys just met casually as he's walking down the street. Was this before filming or were there cameras there? Like, was it for the show? They were filming, but when they came to pee, they weren't. The cameras were off. Oh, it was off. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. So then after that, he showed up to your store. And then from there, what happened? He came, he invited me out to a bar that he was DJing in. Uh, that's the first time we met, and that's the first time actually I went to the house. Oh, so the first um, time you went to the house wasn't even aired. Uh, it w- no, the first time no, the second time was after the club to Bamboo. When actually a few times before there is the part of Bamboo they never showed. I think that was the second time they they showed the third time I went to the house. Wow, that's insane that they cut out that much information. Yeah. So then that night that you went to his house, the one that we showed what happened that night exactly um we went out me and my girlfriend she was uh with mike at the time and i was with polly and we went back to the house and we were sitting on the deck we were talking and polly was trying like really hard to get me up to the smush room and i didn't want to go upstairs and it was like i was there for three hours but they show you like i was there for 10 minutes and uh, he tried really hard. So that's when I got up and I said, no, I'm not going to have sex until I get married just for him to leave me alone. But they pushed it and turned it around to like, oh, she's weird and she's crazy. But it was like hours for him trying to pull me up to the room. And I was like, no, 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 no. That's what really happened. They never showed it. Wow. That's that's crazy how that wasn't even your first time going there. That's what no. I'm like stuck on that. Like, that's my most shock that you guys met as he, as he's walking down the street. That's the most yeah. part where I'm like... And he came wow. a bunch of times to my store, too, where I worked. Yeah. So where did you work? On the boardwalk? Yeah, in San Tropez. When he showed up, was it, like, with cameras and stuff? Yeah. They were always, like, on the boardwalk with cameras. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. So after you met him the first time, did they make you, like, sign, in, like, an NDA or anything yes. like that? Oh, they yeah, did. you had to sign paper. Yeah, of course. You had to sign papers. And my English is not that good for me to read and understand everything that I'm reading. And I was like, oh, reality show. I'm going to sign. But I never thought they are going to make me look like a stalker. That was, like, for me, that was a shock when I watched the show. Yeah. So how was your reaction after that aired? Um, I was, I was shocked. I was embarrassed. Uh, the next day I had to go to work and it was hard. People were making fun of me and my mom was disappointed. Like from what she saw, she, she knows me. She knows it's not the truth, but she was like, they twisted it all around me. She was mad. I felt bad for her. Uh, it was a shock for me. It was hard because people weren't nice after that. People were really mean. They were coming and trying to fight me and making fun of me. And they're not coming in the store to buy. They're coming to fight, to curse me, to make fun of me. Like, there were there were nice people, too. But, 
like the bad people, like the ones that made fun, there were a lot. I had to go to work off the boardwalk, go back home off the boardwalk. Because if not, then I would be bullied on the boardwalk. People would have to walk me back home to see that I got home okay. If I went out to a club, I had to be with a bunch of people. I could never go anywhere by myself. Wow. It was really, really hard. Yeah, that's insane. Did you ever tell Polly after the fact? Like, did you speak to him and be like, dude, how can you um, make me when look it like that? Aired, when it aired, I did text him. He never answered, and I just posted on Facebook his phone number. Oh, really? And I said, you want to? yeah, you want to see what a stalker is? You're going to get a lot of them now. Wow. Especially because social media wasn't a thing like, like it is today. So you really no, couldn't. No, we talked after, the, after they finished filming. We talked like a month or so. After. The day before it aired, he texted me sorry and disappeared. That's it. And never texted me after that. Wow. That's insane. So let's yeah. move back for a moment. When you were on the boardwalk with them, when they were with those girls, and they made it seem like you were following them around, and you showed up. I just got time. off of work. That was next to the store I worked. I just got out of the store I worked. Yeah, because you worked on the boardwalk. Them. Yeah. Yeah, I worked 12 hours a day. I couldn't even, if, even if I wanted to stalk him, I couldn't. I worked all the time. Right. I think production, like, made that, made it look like that. Yeah, of course. Even when I gave him the shirt, he called me to come. Like, I was walking, and he, he did with his hand for me to come. And that's wow. when I told him, I made you something, because the day before, he came to my store and gave me I Heart Italian bracelet. That you could see on the show that I have it on my hand when I give him the shirt. It's on my hand. Wait. If you really pay attention. I need to pause you for a moment. Polly came to you first and gave you yeah. a bracelet that says I Heart Italian. Yeah, that's why I made the shirt, as a joke back. Wow. <laughs> Guys, yeah. did any of you guys know that? So when you showed up with that shirt, his face was like, whoa, like this is crazy. But he just did it to you first. He did it the day before. You could see when I give him the shirt on the show, if you pause that moment, you'll see a bracelet on my hand. And if you do a close up, you'll see it says I heart Italian guys. But he made me look like I'm crazy, like I'm the crazy one. And why did he keep the shirt for so many years? That is funny because he did put the shirt on in season three. Season three, yeah. Why? He, he came back with it. Like, yeah. Why? Now, in season three, did producers set you up to run into them? No. No? Like, well, I was in a club and one of the producers were like, we were at a bar and they were waiting for me outside. And she pulled me to the side and said that Polly wanted to talk to me. And then they said, like, oh, come back to the house. Everything is good. We didn't mean it, blah, blah, blah. So I thought everything was good. I was drunk also. That was for me being so stupid going back there because I didn't even understand the jokes that him and Vinny were making because, again, like, my English isn't that good. It's good, but not that good for me to understand. And then there was a moment that Vinny said something and I understood that they're making fun of me while I'm sitting there like an idiot. I knew that I'm in trouble again in season three. Wow. That's why I spilled a drink at him and broke the camera. Yeah. But you spilled a drink you spilled a drink at him before you went back to the house. Yeah. So what made you randomly go up to him and spill that drink? Throw the drink in his face. It basement? wasn't randomly. They were all at the bar looking at me and making fun of me. And oh, the really? cameras were literally following me, yeah. And people were making fun of me. Like I was there and people were making fun of me and Polly and Vinny were looking at me and cracking jokes so I got mad I asked the bartender to give me a glass of water I went there I threw it at his face wow it's crazy how much and they Ron don't show. ran like he wanted to fight me yeah it's crazy how much they don't show and they make you look out to be this crazy stalker yeah so then after that when you did go back to the house who was anyone besides Vinny? Because we saw Vinny making jokes about you. Was anyone else kind of rude to you about like the whole situation? Yeah, they were all laughing except J Wow. Except J Wow. Yeah, she was really nice all the time to me. Oh wow. Yeah, she oh. was really sweet. The other ones, no. Vinny was really nice at first, but then season three, he like, I don't know if it's fame or whatever happened to him, but he was obnoxious season one he was really really a nice guy really if you watch all the seasons you could totally see that Vinny does change around season three. i stopped watching it after season yeah. one and then i just saw clips of me in season three i didn't want to sit and watch it anymore because i know where it's going again 
Yeah. So were you and Polly ever, I don't know, together off camera at all? Like, were you guys ever dating off camera, like privately? We were talking after uh, the show and then uh, I went up to Rhode Island once. Yeah, he was DJing over there. Uh, so I went, I saw him. I went with a bunch of girlfriends and I went back home. That's the last time I have saw him. We talked a little bit more after, but then the show aired and he disappeared. Wow. That's just crazy yeah. how much they cut out. The fact that I'm still shocked. It's all cut out. If you call MTV and ask them, give me the real thing, you'll sit, you'll sit and be like, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> like, it's even true. Anything that you saw on the show, it's not true. I did call the house. I was pissed at him, but I called twice. Yeah. They didn't call five or six times. Call twice. That conversation of you and Polly fighting on the phone was anything else cut out during that conversation? Because they really showed him. You know, it was kinda... a long conversation. No, oh, it was really? a long conversation. Yeah, I don't even remember what it is. It was long, and then we didn't see. He, we saw each other on the boardwalk. We didn't speak, and then I saw him at Karma, the last day they were filming, and then again, if I'm such a stalker, then why are you talking to me? Yeah. Why are you telling me you like me? Why are you going home again with me? He built it. He did a build up of it during we were like together. And then whatever happened with the phone, he talked so much shit about me. And then again, he comes to karma and like, I like you and blah, blah, blah. And goes home with me. So I, it, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. And they also made it um, seem like that phone call that you guys were fighting with was like a two second phone call like he just said no it was a long conversation no it was a long conversation he also said something on the phone to you like you know my feelings for you was he like leading you on that we didn't see yeah yeah he said a lot of sweet things to me that you didn't see on the show i believe it especially by him saying that on the phone you know how i feel about you but we didn't see any of that. But how can you say you know how I feel about you, but then say that I'm a stalker or say that I'm clingy or say that I'm trying to get married with you when I'm obviously not I'm 22 years old or 21 at the time? It makes no sense. They just cut it and edit it to make it look like I'm a whack job. Yeah, for sure. They definitely did. I just, I'm stuck on the part where you probably looked the worst by giving him that t-shirt randomly on the boardwalk but the fact that he gave you that bracelet first that said the same thing that's the part I'm yeah like, stuff on look at that look at the part on the show and pause at the point where i give him the shirt look at my hand i have the bracelet on my hand it was like a string knit bracelet with like the italian flag on it and then it said i heart italian guys or boys or whatever wow. which i never saved i've been seeing a lot of questions so let's if you want to pick a question or you want me to pick it for you, whatever you're pick comfortable it. answering. All right. You so someone it. says, did, does she get paid? Did you get paid for being on the show no. at all? No. no. Okay. Someone says, how have you been? Uh, good. I'm married. I have Aww. two beautiful twins. I live in Israel. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm a nail tech. Yeah, I do nails and uh, eyebrows. I'm in the beauty industry. I'm married to a hairdresser. I'm happy. That's yeah. so good to hear, especially everything you've been through. Thank you. Do you still get backlash? And how was it? How is it where you live? Where I live, nobody really cares about the Jersey Shore. And even if they do, they don't really understand. For them, it's like, wow, you're on a TV show. Uh, I do get backlash by people that are not from here. Like, even if you go on my TikTok, you'll see the comments. People are still mean. Somebody wrote me, are those Polly's kids? Like, that's the line where I draw. You don't talk about my kids. It's not funny. Yeah. People are just exactly. very nasty. Yeah. Someone said, did she sign an NDA? So she said, yeah. Did you have to sign something where you're not allowed to speak about your experience? Yeah. They tell you even when you go in the house, you can't talk about what happened. You can't film it. You can't record it. None of that. You have to what, keep it to yourself. Was there a certain amount of time where you weren't allowed to speak? I think I don't know. I, I know it's for a long time. I don't know. But somebody posted that the NDAs are over. So that's when I decided that I'm going to talk. Good for you. Good for you, honestly, yeah. especially because back then you weren't allowed to say anything. Do you know what I mean? And no, I did tell everybody it didn't happen, but I just couldn't 
say all the details. I did tell people what you're saying is not true. It's different than what it, what it is. But I couldn't go on live or go on Instagram or on Facebook and write it because I could get sued. Yeah, especially because there really wasn't that big of a platform either at the time. Exactly. Did the house stink? <laughs> did the house smell at all? Yeah, it was dirty. It was- really? Yeah, it was really bad. The first time I went there, I started picking up stuff, and Polly told me, what are you doing? And I said, I'm cleaning. It's dirty here. You said Jenny was the nicest one to you. Who was the meanest yes. bes- besides Vinny? Uh, Sammy and Snooky. Really? Is there an experience that you can share that they did? She was just, like, Sammy was just, like, rude. She would walk in the house. Like, I would say hi. She would ignore me. She would, like, eyeball you. And Snooki, every time she came into the store, if you talk to her, she, she just turns around. Wow. Yeah. Did you meet Angelina? No. No. But I saw videos on TikTok uh, of her. I think she's funny. And I think she's, like, an underdog in the show. For real. I think Angelina, unfortunately, I think because so much time went on without her, I don't think they will ever consider her like part of them i think they look at her more of a co-worker so that's unfortunate um i feel I bad for her from what i saw oh for sure i feel like they definitely you know pick on her a lot but if you think about it she makes the show they're boring yeah <laughs> i said the same thing if she's not on the show i mean what are she we gonna makes see the show. i've seen like video clips on tiktok of her i think she's hilarious she makes the show yeah and people want that drama Exactly. Someone said, was it scripted at all? No. But, like, if they did something that the producers didn't want them to do, then they would come to them and, like, pull them aside. Yes, they would tell them things, but not for my ears to hear. Someone said, did you have any contact recently with the members from Jersey Shore? No. I haven't spoken to them in 11 or 12 years. Somebody asked if the drink was staged that I threw on Polly. No, it wasn't. It came from the heart. <laughs> Did you want to go ahead and look at the questions and see if there's one that you want to answer, maybe? It's going so fast. I know. I tried to, like, use my finger to, like, stop it and read a little. Did you ever meet Roger? People are bashing him, but honestly, JY was drama. I think he was nice. I did meet him. He came to our store a lot to buy shirts. He was a really nice guy. I never saw a bad side of him. He was always nice when he came to the store. It's crazy how you met so many of them, and yet we haven't seen that you had like many interactions with any of them, really. Yeah, I know all of them. That's insane. Like, I wish I could see that footage. Like, we love the behind-the-scenes stuff here. You should write MTV. <laughs> Tell them that you want to see the real footage of what happened with Danielle. Yeah, I really do. What was the club karma like? At the time, it was fun. It was like there was only two clubs in uh, Seaside. There's Karma and there's Bamboo, and like the best one was Karma. So it was fun. It was good. It was always packed. At the time, it was good. Do you have any stories from behind the scenes that they didn't air that you're like, I got it. I want to tell people. Um, no, I don't really remember anything that happened. Like, I could tell you that they never showed you that Mike was with my friend. I didn't know that until you said they it. Were, they were a lot together. There's like the same amount of times that I was with Polly. But he told her he's not looking for anything. They were just having fun, but you never saw that. Wow. But if you see the part where I came to the house and I'm, we're sitting and talking on the deck, there's like a glimpse of them on the, like, the bed on the side. There's like a tanning bed on the side. There is a glimpse of them, but you don't see them at all. She was there with me at Bamboo, the picture that I showed you that they didn't air. Yeah, that's insane. That's like, honestly, yeah, because we don't really see Mike with you and Polly a lot either from what we've seen. He was with us. Yeah. He was at Bamboo. He was at, with us at Karma. But they don't show you that. I saw a comment. Where'd it go? It said, if Polly for- if, if Polly apologized to you, would you forgive them? Um, I, I can't say I forgave them, but I could say that I, uh, battled those demons behind me. I don't think his apology means nothing today because he went with it 12 years. He was writing on it. He got famous of it. He got famous from his, all of his stalkers. Like he was the nice guy that, oh, all the girls want him and they stalk him. 
but he never showed his true side. So I don't think that it's like forgiveness. I think it's just, it's been 12 years. If you didn't feel bad then, then surely you don't feel bad now. Yeah. And especially you working on the boardwalk and, you know, when the show was airing at its, at its peak. Sorry, my husband just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it. What'd he say? Let's go live in my. <laughs> I didn't even know he could write in English. <laughs> Someone said, did you ever see Ronnie and Sammy fight? Yeah. Karma. You saw it firsthand. They were always fighting. <laughs> Yeah, they were, they, I don't think that like once they came in the store and even when they came into the store, they, they looked angry. They never smiled. Always angry. At least they actually aired all that. <laughs> they didn't cut yeah, all that like, Weird. They don't show you anything. They don't even show you when they walked in our store and bought stuff when I helped them and stuff like that. They never showed it to you. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know you even worked on the boardwalk or lived in that. Yeah, of course. For those who just joined, because I see we have so much, so many more viewers, Danielle just told us that she lived next door to the Shore House. Like, they didn't air any of that. That's insane. Someone keeps writing and keeps repeating. Did Snooky smell? What is up with the smells, guys? <laughs> I don't know. I never, I never came that close to <laughs> sniffing her. No. Somebody asked, why did I leave the Shore? Uh, cause it was too much for me, uh, getting all that hate. It was hard. It was hard living like that. And, uh, I felt bad and my mom also left. It was too much. Like I was there alone and then I got all the hate and I got bullied out. I literally got bullied out of the States. It's terrible. Couldn't even go anywhere without people. I had two girls come in the store, a mom and a daughter, trying to, not trying, they fought me, literally. Calling like, me Polly Stalker and fighting me. Like a physical fight? Yeah. Wow. I'm so sorry. A lot of them did. That's terrible. Somebody asked, did I stay in the house where Snooki stayed when she was pregnant? No. My house... Uh, how can I explain? My house was here. There's a motel in the middle and then the shore house. That's like a minute walk to the from my house to house. So when Ronnie asked you, can I use your bathroom? Was it like, who are you? You're asking me to use my bathroom? Or did, were you like, oh, he asked my room. Oh, he asked your roommate. Yeah. He said, yeah, of course, bro. And then Paul, he stayed outside just staring at me. And that. And then from there, that's when you guys really started all of it. Yeah, the next day he came to the store. Wow. Started asking me what's my name, where I'm from, blah, 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 what's my accent. But they showed it the opposite. I can't imagine that hate that you got after it aired, especially how crazy Jersey Shore got. Somebody said he probably had to take a dump when the toilets were clogged. <laughs> Would people stand outside their house all day long? Uh... When season three, when they came back, yeah. Season one, nobody cared about them. Nobody knew who they were. But at season three, yeah, Seaside was crazy. The hate towards me, also crazy. Yeah, especially because you lived there, too. For lived there anything. before them. Yeah. Not too. I lived before them. I lived there years before. Like, I worked there since I was 18. So even not just being working on the boardwalk, but just, you know, going to the grocery store, was it bad then, too? Yeah, I had to have people walk with me. Wow. I would walk in somewhere. Oh, Polly D. Stalker, you stalked my whole life on the boardwalk and make fun of me. People would have t-shirts with Danielle the Stalker on it. Wow. Some people are asking questions of things we kind of went already went over. So I'll let that, you know, kind of go up to you if you want to repeat some of it. Somebody asked if I seen him after the show. No. No, only in season three. I haven't spoken to Polly since season three. After you left that house, after you went back there and made amends, after that, was that the last time you ever spoke to him? Yeah. They came back, I think, season five or four. I don't know what season that was. And I had a boyfriend at the time. And even then, the producers tried filming me. Oh, really? Yeah. We were at Hook's. There was a karaoke night. I was singing, and they were all there too. And the producers literally 
was filming me and asking me if I can sign. Wow. So they wanted you to get back into that mode and look like of course it makes Polly look good going fast have any of them ever tried to reach out to you after kind of no nobody ever reached out to me nobody apologized nothing i did speak to jay wow on facebook like commenting on each other's photos and stuff but that's it oh really so you guys were like facebook friends on your personal pages yeah yeah she was really i think she's the she's she's just real yeah. I don't think she's fake. I think a lot of them are fake. I think a lot of them fame ruined their personalities completely. Yeah. That's my opinion. I think Vinny was a really nice guy. And I think a lot went through his head and he's disgusting. I'm sorry. He's always offensive. Like he's better than everyone. And that's what he did to me. But if Danielle today was there at that time, he couldn't speak to me that way. Because those jokes were so rude, calling you a stalker yeah. while you're sitting right there. But I didn't understand what he was saying. That's the thing. Yeah. Just like after he said uh, another word, then I was like, wait, he's making fun of me. And I'm sitting there like an idiot. And I did get up and I left. Did you confront him about him making you look like that? And if so, what did he say? I did. He laughed in my face. That, when was this? When I threw the drink at his face. Right. They all came out after me. Ronnie ran like he wanted to fight me and Vinny and Polly. And he, he, he screamed, why did you throw the drink at my face? He said, why did you make me look like a stalker when I'm not? And he just looked at me. And then I ran to the camera and I punched it. All yelling, get her out of the club. But I just walked to go out of the club. I said, yeah. I don't need anybody to walk me out. I can go by myself. Without to take any more shit. Yeah, especially with, with how you were portrayed in season one. And now they're back another summer and you're like, I'm not taking this. I think I was very uh, innocent and I was thinking, like when they, at season three, when they said, come to the house, we'll make things right. I really, really thought that they're going to make it right. I wasn't thinking, oh, they're taking advantage of me. I was really innocent at the time. So my mom always said to me also, you're innocent. You're always innocent. You believe people. I did believe that they're not mean people. They're not trying to make me look bad. But at the end, every season I was on, I just looked bad. Yeah, that's terrible. How much were the drinks at Karma? <laughs> <laughs> that's actually a good question know. how much were the drinks nine dollars ten dollars that's actually not that bad i feel like they totally could have went for like a new york city price especially with how busy it is there yeah but no they wanted people yeah jersey people are not fools we're not gonna pay twenty dollars a drink <laughs> would you go back no i'm happy where i am now someone said would you ever sue uh i don't think i can anymore I think it's yeah. like so, so long. I don't think I can sue anymore. At the time, my mom started suing. Oh, really? But, uh, yeah, but I ruined it by going back on season three. Oh, so she was looking into suing after what happened season one, and then you went back season three and it kind yeah. of... Yeah, it ruined it. Yeah. The lawyer got really mad. Really? I was stupid. Yeah. What was something you hated and something you loved of Polly? Uh, I hated his hair. <laughs> I think his hair. And I really liked at the time that he was nice. But then I found out he wasn't. I really thought he was a nice guy. We're talking about how we are like we have the same sign. Like we're both cancers. And I was born on July 7th. And he was born on July 4th. And Mike on uh, July 3rd. And that was like a whole conversation that they didn't air. And he, we were talking about how cancers are nice and they're vulnerable people and blah, blah, blah. And I like like talking to him, but I guess it was all fake. Someone said that, were you really clingy? I wasn't clingy. I liked the guy. He like said all the right things. So I acted by what he said. If somebody tells you he likes you and he doesn't, he never felt like this and blah, blah, blah. So you show affection back, but... But they cut everything that he said. So it just looked like I was clingy. But I was reacting to what he said to me. Right. Somebody asked if I've seen his new girlfriend. Yes, on TikTok. Good for him. Did the Jersey Shore ruin change the boardwalk forever? 
um made it, it was busy a lot but i think the authenticity of seaside got ruined this became like the jersey shore boardwalk but it's much more than that like i lived there for so many years and it wasn't the same after they came so i think they kind of ruined seaside someone just said how are they off camera um rude i don't know none of them were nice except vinny at the the start and polly mike i don't know mike wasn't with us at all like mindset uh he was like so out weird. of it somebody asked do i regret the time on the show yes do you you regret 100%. all of it yeah 100% it ruined completely my life uh it ruined my time in the US it made me leave and never want to come back i think people took it like too far girls were acting crazy yeah. guys were making fun of me people took it really really far wow on the other hand i'm happy it happened cuz i did go back to israel i did meet my husband i did have two beautiful daughters i'm close to my family my mother everyone so yeah every awesome. bad has a good somebody asked where do i live now i live in a small town in israel called elat it's like it's like it's similar to seaside it's like a tourism place It's nice. It's by the beach. Haley said I missed it all. So I'm going to save this after and then I will post clips so that other people who missed it can still see it. Um you know, just so she doesn't have to answer the same question over and over again. Someone keeps asking, how was Dina to you? She wasn't rude and she wasn't nice. She was she was there. She would say hello, but not like super nice and not rude at all. She wasn't rude at all. I right. think she's a nice girl. Does your husband know about Jersey Shore? Yes, he does. He saw it. Oh, he does. Yeah, it doesn't bother him. Like it's it's fine with him. He thinks it's funny. Yeah. He knows who I am, so it doesn't really matter. What made me want to speak out now? Um I wanted to speak a long time ago, but I was always afraid that I'm going to get sued or it's going to get me in trouble or what not. but then somebody i saw posted that the ndas are over and that you could talk and speak about it so i decided that if i can then i'm going to cuz i think it's been a long time that polly has been walking around with like two little stalkers on his shoulder which i'm not one of them so i wanted to say the truth so people know what really happened i'm also so tired of seeing that comment like why are you speaking out why you keep talking about it why not why can't you you lived it you were there exactly. you're allowed to share your story if you want to talk about it every single day of your life you can i don't understand what that com- you know i keep seeing those comments too are you afraid of the outcome after this no I'm, i hope they take all the stuff they edited and cut off and put it on i would love if to they want to say that i'm lying then prove it prove that i'm lying show all the footage Right. I feel like we answered all these questions. We need a Danielle and Vanessa uncut special. <laughs> yes, I'd love to hear Vanessa's side. And thank you for uh everyone that writing really really sweet things on here. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. You mentioned how you still get some hate till this day, but honestly, you also do get a lot of love because when I started posting that I am going live with you, everyone was like, "I'm so excited to hear her side." So You do get a lot of love as well. I know. Yeah, I do. I get a lot. I just I don't care about all the bad things anymore. Like if somebody writes something bad, like I had one girl that go on went on every single TikTok of mine and write bad things. And I just wrote her like be good and you'll get good in life. Like you don't have to be so mean. If you want to write something to me, just write it like to me. It's fine. But you don't have to go blast it on my my tiktok with my daughters and everything like i think people should spread love not hate right i just block and if everyone. you don't like what you see then scroll up you don't have to comment exactly i am such a big blocker too one mean comment and i just block them i don't want to see any negativity i try to remove all of that someone said i i always knew you weren't a stalker thank you <laughs> what was your greatest outcome in all of this um matured me fast and it made me a better person of like seeing things in a different way and i think it made me become a really strong person to deal with all i don't think somebody that 
his mental health was like really bad would have dealt with everything that I dealt with. And like for me, it made me see uh, like when people bully other people, it made me see justice. Like I want justice for all those people that you, they get, get treated bad for no reason. I don't think anybody should treat anybody bad no matter what. Nobody walks in my shoes. They don't know what I go through. And even if they think that I'm a stalker, keep it to yourself. There's a person. There's feelings. You don't know what that person's mental health is. You don't know what that word you're going to say, where it's going to push them. So I think it made me a really strong person. It made me appreciate my mom because I felt bad for my mom the most. I felt like I embarrassed her. I felt like I disappointed her. So I think it, it matured me really fast and made me a better person. That's what I think. Right. And you're absolutely right about all of that. Never come back to the state. Maybe to visit, but not to live. No. Someone keeps writing. I know you talked about it a little before because you worked on the boardwalk, but someone said, why did you keep going up to them on the boardwalk? That I wasn't the- going up to them. They were calling me to come. You can't go to them. They have like bodyguards and stuff. You go to them only if somebody calls you to come. So right. I didn't walk to them. You're right. They always have body bodyguards. So how can you just go up to them you like that? You can't go up to them. You only go up to them if somebody calls you to go up to them. Who was calling you? Polly or like the producers? Polly called me when he was with those girls getting pierced or whatnot. And the producers also with their hands. So they're really trying to make yeah. it all look like you were stalking them wow exactly someone said did you keep calling repeatedly no only twice do you think they all have let the fame go to their heads um i don't follow them so i don't really know but there's a lot of video clips on tiktok and i saw how Vinny acts and i think Vinny, i think fame went way over his head like the guy became something else so I think Vinny, from what I saw on TikTok. I feel like as viewers, I mean, we don't we don't know them personally like you have known them. But as viewers, I think we've all seen that about Vinny, for sure. Yeah, from what I saw, it was disgusting. Like, we answered all these questions. I feel bad having you keep repeating them. <laughs> Is there anything Why? else that you want to say or anything else that you know, that you just want to share your side of, on anything regarding, you know, your time on Jersey Shore? Uh, I think that if any, if we watch reality shows, we need to take in consideration that there is a producer, there is an editor, and what you see is not really what you get. It's not reality show. Um, all I can say is what you guys saw on the show wasn't really what happened. Uh, you saw a girl that liked a guy and a guy that liked the girl, but they just turned it around that I'm crazy and he's the one who's getting stalked. Um, and I really, really hope in time those clips come out. And I really hope in time also maybe Polly will acknowledge that what he did. And maybe he will come through and say, yeah, she's right. It didn't really happen, which I don't believe would ever happen. But uh, that's about it. I just wanted to say my side. And I really appreciate you for coming on the live with us. And I honestly hope you keep making TikToks and even just sharing facts. Even if you said it today and you want to repeat it on your own TikTok, I hope you do because, you know, it's your story and you should be able to share it. And who cares about any of the hate comments you get because you get a lot of love as well. Exactly. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It really, Thank I appreciate you. all the love. Thank I'm so you. excited. Thank you so much for joining. Thank um, you. We could end this live here. You, I feel like you answered everything. People are just uh, commenting the same stuff because we have like new viewers and stuff. Um, but I totally can just post the clips of this for people to look at. Thank you so much and have a great afternoon, right? Over yes. Here. Yeah, okay. I know. So thank you for doing it on a Sunday. I know our time difference has been pretty difficult, but thank you. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye.